No such form of seating took place, the court again emphasizes, and directions were issued electronically in line with established practice and procedural rules. We do, however, recommend that the current practice directions and relevant statutes, such as the High Court Organization and Administration Act, be amended so as to provide a much needed further clarity on this subject. Moreover, for the avoidance of doubts, and out of all the prayers sought by the respondent, only prayer number one, which sought to have the matter certified as urgent, was granted. No other reliefs were considered or granted at the time. It is evident that the court was fully cognizant of both the urgency of the matter and the potential repercussions that, grani that granting any further ex parte orders could have had on the prevailing status quo. 